Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to add a dynamic home view in the portal side. We'll try to create a new student profile from the portal side. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to add a group by option in the portal side, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development level is here with different topic wise with the real tasks. And in case you need any support related Odoo, you can visit the about page, send your query to this email address. Source code also available in the GitHub, make sure you can follow and also we have a different social media pages, make sure you can follow to get the latest notification. So let's back to our main topic like how you can create a new form view. So let's say if I will go to here in the student profile, so you can see this is the backend view right here. Like we can easily try easily create a home view and after that like all automatically manage this view. But in the portal side here, you can see here all the views we have to create manually right. Like this list view, the form view including this pagination, this bread scrum and all, we have to create a menu on it, right? Like, compared to the backend code, it's automatically handled by the Odoo, but the front-end part, it's not almost code we have to write down manually, right? Except such inbuilt feature they provided like this, but again, we have to create a lot of things here, correct? So let's say we are trying to create here a one form view, all right? So here you can see WB portal is here. The first thing is the this is the portal, and another thing is the template. You can see here we created a form view, list view, then after the menus and all, right? Now we are trying to create a new template like student new student form you portal like this and uh, simple like let's say we can um, create here the div tag And this view we can render in the front end side here. So first thing is we have to create here the menu, right? So for that we already extended the menu of the portal here. So simple we can copy this line of code. We can paste here. And simple we can use new student. And the title would be the register student. And we don't need this total. We can move here the before this to that. All right. After that, uh, let me upgrade the module first. So here I'm trying to upgrade this module using the PyCharm terminal. And if you don't know how to configure or do in PyCharm, please check editor level playlist. I already explained. And once I will refresh the screen, you can see this new menu is registered and if I will click this button you can see 404 error automatically appear here why because this new student this URL is not available in the code right so now we are trying to create that route so for that http dot route new student right type would be always http auth equal to yeah let's say the user on the website equal to two. then after new register student profile or here let's say the keyword arguments we have to pass that's it. 
and here we can render like that sorry not this one but this one this template we have to render while we call this URL all right so here like this and simple I will restart the service okay and simple I will refresh the screen now you can see the student profile is automatically available like this way I think there is a one mistake oh it would be the select let me upgrade the module and refresh the screen now you can see there is a two options is available the first one is the simple like select school right and we have to add dynamic values here the student uh, sorry the school profile right so for that we can go to here in the student profile uh, so in the controller school list request dot env school dot profile and here we can just search like this way and the variable we can pass here all right and this key directly we can access here using the t-dash for So now let's say uh, I will try to add here like this remove the dash out and like let's say cool dot name int dash edit dash value and value always should be the ID at the moment because we are trying to pass the country ID only. Alright, so let me upgrade this module one more time and restart is compulsory. Now you can see before the refresh, you can see only two options is available, right? And now I am trying to refresh the screen and you can see all the unique school profiles visible here. This is the dynamic values we just rendered from backend to the front end using the controller. Okay, like this now you can see this is not the good view right at least we have to display something like this like this right so let's create a new uh, portal view and inside the portal view we are trying to add that form you can see it's pretty good huh? right so here we are trying to add also the bread scrum so for that like page name and register to that and here you can see this one right we just duplicate this one page underscore name is this one then we can review like register student let me upgrade the module i'm trying to refresh the screen now you can see the bread scrum is available right and now we are trying to add some beautification part also here so for that if you know bootstrap it would be very plus point for you otherwise you can just copy paste from the w3c school or bootstrap.com website right
okay now you can see it's looking pretty good right so this is the name of the student and this is the school profile okay, here the button is missing right Okay, so you can see it's created the GUI part and once I will submit this request, you can see the in the URL the GAT method automatically called, right? If I will add like this weblan IIT, so you can see it will pass here the name on the school and in the school you can see it will pass here the 12, right? Not this IIT. So why it is because if you see here in the inspect what we does is like here the value would be passed the integer values this one and if you see the 12 index the option the school name is the IID this is the GUI purpose we have to display but actually we are trying to get the integer value why because sometimes the user will use duplicate so we don't know which school profile they selected due to that like to overcome such issues we are trying to use always the unique id here okay so that is for this session and uh, our next session would be like how you can submit to create a new record in the backend side if you have any doubt related this topic this gui topic please comment below and see you in our next session